city near the end of Vernon Street, there's a one-story green building that has quietly become a safe haven for a vulnerable group of Belizeans. It's a drop-in center, meaning that you can come during the day from 9 until 3, you get a hot meal, a change of clothes, you recreate during the day. The Welcome Resource Center is a drop-in center for adults. It's operated by the NGO, the Mental Health Association, and was created to provide a peaceful, accepting environment for the homeless, the elderly, and especially for people living with mental health problems. The persons who access the center are called participants. Administrator Joy Ellis explains why. I say participants because um, they are our participants. They own the center. If you look around, you could see the center is clean. They actually help us to keep the center clean on a daily basis. We have rotation where we get them to work for a week and they get a little stipend, nothing much. And it keeps them um, in line with the team, with dignity yes. in mental health. These people have pride and dignity and the only difference between ourselves and them is that we could sustain ourselves with a job and at the present moment we could control our emotions and um, if we're going through anything we know where to turn. 76-year-old Winfield Garbutt has been a faithful participant at the center since it first opened. You come every day? Every day. At, well, seven days a week, right? Mm -hmm. I come at least five days for a week. I can come and take a bath, get fresh clothes to, to put on, the food that they have for me is all right. What do you if I staying home? I rent a house. Mm -hmm. and I don't have nothing to eat. And um, I'm a single man and I, I could get fresh clothes too. I, think I took a bath since I came this morning, and this is fresh clothes that they supply me with. No, what would make me not want to be here or don't like the place? I like the quietness of the place and things, the quietness of the place, the quietness of the place and the communication amongst the organization, the people there, you know, who, who put in the work and things, and so, et cetera, right? I don't, I don't find no fat. I bathe or shave up different things. Just put things in my arm spray, lotion, skin, comb the hair, different things like that. So it's a like chair, you know, keeping it smell nice and things like that. Keep it clean. Yeah. Right. Oh, I love hair. Excellent. Yeah. What's your name? Linda Morgan. Linda. Morgan. How often you come here? I come here more, um, mostly every day. Sometimes when I, I come, kind of feel good, kind of like that. Each participant here is dealt with on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Nobody is come in one. Although they came, they come under the mental health issue, but we don't deal with them as everybody. As we. It's not every time they're going through their episodes. It's just like a normal person who today, maybe their blood pressure is high and things like that, and they have to take medication. But for our, um, the participants, particularly at our center, we would know when they really need to take a visit to the psychiatric nurses and we could call and make referrals. So that's what we do for them. Of course, our number one challenge would be finance. Um, that's our major challenge of finances. Also getting clothes for the males and also getting volunteers to come in and just sit with them, read with them, do some activities with them. Um, like anybody else, they don't have a very long attention span, so you work with them on something for an hour to five to five minutes and then you leave them be. Erna Jones is a new volunteer at the center. She says she wasn't quite sure what to expect working with the participants, but she's been pleasantly surprised. I have a very good relationship with them. You know, I thought it was a place that okay, they might wouldn't pay me any mind, but more they are very serious about what they are doing, mm -hmm. and I have to be careful that I'm doing the right thing because they will keep me in check. What we have to do, and what I am trying to do, just be myself with them, mm -hmm. and you know, study what they are saying to you and things like that, and know how to answer, know mm -hmm. how to talk to them, keep a level of voice that would not get them irritated, yeah. and show a lot of love. I like the whole system. I, not like, but I love the system. And I try to comply with, with the rules and the regulations. 
So this feel like a home to you during the day? Yes, it's, it is. For me, it is.